Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Diary of an Entrepreneur, weeks 12 and 13. I'm gonna talk about PayPal, 80-20 when it comes to sales and marketing and whiteboard. So stay tuned. All right, so, you know, I welcome you guys for joining me again. And one recourse is geared, deemed, and destined to become the number one source for startup marketing advice and services throughout the US and the rest of the world. So this is something that we pride ourselves on doing and this is a documentary of exactly how I plan on doing all those different things. And I have a little cup of joe, it's been a long couple of weeks. Anyway, I talked about, and I have my notes here, I talked about uh, the 80-20 sales and marketing. It's a book by a gentleman by the name of Perry Marshall. He kind of goes into the 80% of, it doesn't matter, and the 20% of your customers that really do matter. It's a really good book, and they have this test, it's called the Marketing DNA, which surprisingly was really accurate. You should definitely look into it. If you're a marketer who's watching this video, or you're a startup business owner, you wanna kinda of know where your marketing skill sets are, definitely recommend picking up the book, 80-20 Sales and Marketing by Perry Marshall, and taking the Marketing DNA. You can definitely Google it, if you're not subscribed to the One Recourse Book Club, then you should be. Um, I'm going to be featuring this book and telling you where to get it. So don't rush, just sign up, and then I'll be sending that out uh, sometime later on the end of this month. So look out for that book, corporate. So um, also want to talk about the WordPress delays. <laughs> oh man. Um, Clearly, you know from my last videos, I've been working on WordPress, been learning it, and it's kicking my butt, man. There's really a lot of things that I'm encountering that are a lot harder than I thought. Uh, so I'm like, whoo! But thank God for Fiverr. If you're not familiar with Fiverr, definitely look it out. Uh, but no, Fiverr has been really um, helped me a lot with fixing some of these issues. More of the coding issues, not so much of the graphical issues and the template upload and all that fun stuff. But some of the coding, because I'm going to have customization, because this new site is specifically for startups and marketers. There's a lot of customizations that went into this that are finally um, being implemented on the new website. So I'm really happy about that which was a learning curve. It's gonna be a new feature. This new feature is going to be one way to make sure that the people that you're working with, you trust them. Now we all know in the marketplace, you don't really know who is on the other end or how trustworthy they are. So when you get ready to hire someone, trust is an important factor. And we've taken time to consider that in this new feature that we have coming out on the website. And I'll be sending out private invites to anybody who watches our shows, or a subscribe via email list, you're gonna get a special invite to be able to partake on the launch of our website. So keep your lookout for that. That's been something that's been going on the last couple of two weeks. Um, we did a podcast with a gentleman by the name of Nehemiah Davis, really awesome guy out of Philly. It was an honor to have him on the One Recourse podcast show where we interview entrepreneurs. He's out there helping the kids in Philly, his story on how he got to where he is, his hardships and you know what he was able to achieve. I mean, this gentleman has visited over 30 some odd countries. So that alone should give you reason to make sure you tune into the latest episode of our One Recourse podcast and listen to what Jer Jeremiah, uh, excuse me, Nehemiah has to say. Definitely great dude. Shout out to you, Nehemiah Davis. Uh, we appreciate having you on the show. I appreciate it and I'll be in contact with you soon. Um, whiteboard creation. So. If you haven't noticed, um, lately we've been putting out a lot of whiteboards. And the whiteboards were kind of put out because we sent out some feedback and we got feedback from people who had a sneak peek at the site. And one of the things I wanted to make sure I was able to capture was a whiteboard. And of course, as a marketer, I'm familiar with whiteboards, but I never actually used one. So first, I created a whiteboard to tell you what one recourse was all about and to take the guessing out of marketing. Then I decided to do a whiteboard that kind of explains what startups will get from joining one recourse and what the marketers will get from joining one recourse. All with a really cool animation thing. So visit our YouTube page and watch some of our whiteboard videos. You can also see them on onerecourse.com. They're pretty entertaining, they're very informative, and they were really fun to do. So I'm really excited about the whiteboard creation. That was something that was like a, a bonus, you know, kind of midweek last week where I was like, yes! 
whiteboard looks awesome. Um, as I continue, you know, that was a lot of the website. For those of you who may be interested in testing our website, you can email me at networker at onerecourse.com. You're going to be able to utilize our site for free. You'll be able to post for free. You'll be able to bid for free um, by becoming a beta tester and help us work out some of these kinks. So I ask you to become a tester. So again, we can become better and know how to serve the startup and the marketing community as well as marketing freelancers and marketing agencies. So shout out to you guys for watching this. If you know someone who is a business owner or a marketer, please share this video because One Recourse is looking for some testers to be a part of the launch of our site. Um, online Marketplace. Now when it comes to the Online Marketplace, One Recourse, you would think is like all of them, though we're actually different, but you know you're Upwork, you're a freelancer, you're guru.com. All of those are great, but there's just so much going on. One recourse is the marketplace where it's just one thing to focus on, and that's marketing your business. Because without marketing, what else does matter? Can you have an IT team if you can't sell or market your business? No, you can't. So marketing and having a one place where you can go or one marketplace where it provides that particular service is one recourse. So we're extremely excited about that, and that's one of the differentiators as far as why you want to join one recourse and you may not want to join some of these other sites. So that's been putting a lot of thought into our marketplace and how it's going to function, making it better for the startups and the marketers and the marketing freelancers who are going to be using our site. Um, that's going to be sent out via uh, email, but I did recently stop my email campaign. A couple of videos back, I was talking about my email campaign, how I was sending it out to startups. And let me tell you, it was very successful. But as I mentioned, it was more successful via conduct, excuse me, connecting with people on social media like Facebook and Twitter. They were like 100 times more responsive. I decided to stop that because of all the work that's been going on with the website that I want to make sure when I reach out to my key core demographic that my website is 100% fully functional, making it so much easier for them to just love what we're all about, sign up, and be a part of our community. So hence... I haven't been bombarding everybody with notes and stuff. So if you want any advice or tips, you can follow some of my other social media like my Facebook, my Twitter, or my Instagram. I'm always posting a lot of cool, creative stuff about marketing. Email is not where it's happening right now. If you want to sign up for the email list, the email is strictly right now for getting that special invite for the launch of our new website. And again, that's networker at onerecourse.com. In closing of what week 12 and 13 have really all been about. It's been a learning curve. It's been a growth curve as we continue to progress. But the one thing that I found to be most interesting was everybody's familiar with PayPal. And if you have a PayPal account and you own a business or e-commerce, it's very simple. But when you own a marketplace, oh man, it's a whole other ballgame. So I've been learning the ins and outs of working with PayPal to get my marketplace up and running so I can make sure that your transactions are safe, secure, and they're easy. We also want to make sure that you're being able to pay for the services you want at the price you want. And if there's an error or a mistake with that price, you're able to get refunded on your money. So working with PayPal has been very, very helpful. Uh, talking to them every day and I'm a step closer to getting my marketplace set up so I can give you exactly what I just said. Security and payment and being able to pay for services at the price you want. Um, without further ado, I don't have any more notes here. Uh, this is great. I really hope you're enjoying this journey as week to week or double up or double or nothing. You can see the progression of one recourse. Next week or the upcoming weeks, I'm going to be going to the Small Business Expo in New York City. So that's something that I can't wait to share with you and tell you how that experience goes and who I meet and how I mingle. And for those of you who are in the city, you can be on the lookout because One Recourse will be visiting the city a lot more uh, these upcoming months. It's going to be a crazy month, but I'm going to make sure I keep making these videos. So thank you again for your time, for viewing this and being a part of this journey. This is Dennis Buchanan, founder of One Recourse, and this is the Diary of an Entrepreneur, week 12 and 13. Later. Later.